Lil Uzi Vert is dropping his new album Eternal A Take 2 tomorrow on November 1st and why he's doing this and all the info that we got on this new record is what we'll go over today so let's jump straight into this. If you want to stay up to date with everything surrounding hip hop make sure to subscribe and also become a part of this community by joining our discord server in the description. Real quick if you don't want to listen to this make sure to skip 10 seconds into the future but you can now sign up for my free newsletter with the first link in the description it comes every Sunday and recaps everything that's been happening in hip hop over the past week so make sure to do that. So let's get the basic info out of the way. You've all been here kind of following this this rollout. We've gotten the cover posted by Uzi on his Instagram a couple of days ago, about a week ago, where he announced that EA2 Eternal A Take 2 would be dropping. The cover is this mass of people, of, of girls, just girls it looks like, who look like aliens, which is connected to the theme of this entire record. And this one girl in the middle has a key above her head. So let me know your theories on what that could be in the comments but besides this cover art we also have the info that this is dropping tomorrow on November 1st and it'll have 19 tracks because that is what the pre-release on Apple Music said so far we'll talk about what tracks could make it so far we've gotten hints at a track list we know a track called Chill Ebro, but it, you know we haven't gotten enough info on it. We can just wait a couple of hours until the album drops and we'll have the confirmed thing. Anyway, let's also talk about the trailer real quick because Uzi did drop a trailer, EA2, the beginning of the era. So he's going back to the Eternal Take era. We can see him being abducted by aliens, his memory being erased, and apparently the hint that in 2020, when Eternal Take 1 dropped, you know, Uzi was kind of abducted, and since then we've gotten a fake Uzi, at least that is what this trailer suggests. It's pretty interesting, let's see how the narrative further spans from that initial release, but it is a direct sequel to the first one, which is pretty cool. Also, we've gotten a track on streaming services actually it's what i wanted to say youtube but it's on streaming which is uzi the earthling uh, it also dropped on youtube but it's also on spotify tv show theme and as i said it also got a trailer video on youtube uh, which we can kind of see from that the aliens are watching this show the uzi the earthling show it's kind of a 1950s 1960s you know vocal sounding song but also from what the video looks like it's kind of like a sitcom from the 50s or 60s it's pretty interesting let's see how he further develops this concept of Uzi the earthling maybe also referring to him being abducted because he was the earthling and the real Uzi was the alien connected to the cover again we still don't have a lot of info on this apparently there were supposed to be more trailers but the album's dropped in a couple of hours and we didn't get any more. So I don't know where that's at. Also, the cover for Uzi the Earthling was this, you know, this lock, uh, which maybe the key is for. Also, it had a E and an A and the number two in there. Also, he changed all of his album covers on streaming to have this overlay, this transparent overlay of this one. So maybe it means that you need to listen to Eternal Take 2 to unlock all of the others or that they're somehow related or it's just marketing. I mean, that's probably what it is. It looks cool. We can't deny that. Now, what's pretty interesting about Eternal Take 2, as we'll talk about in a second, is also that he did, in fact, tease this just two months ago in August in an interview with Ben Weiss where he talked about his next album being Eternal A Take 2. Just nobody believed him because we were still thinking that Love Is Rage 3 or Barter 16, which did kind of get canceled because of leaks, but that those were going to be the next albums. Also, that he was retiring after announcing Love Is Rage 3. So nobody believed him, but in fact, he was giving us this info two months ago. It just came as a surprise because nobody believed believed him. Now, why Eternal A Take 2? You know, Eternal A Take 1 was one of the most hyped albums in 2020 and the two years before that, and it's definitely a success for Uzi. Also a pretty good album, even though it didn't live up to the expectations, but those were unreachable. Now, why EA2? You know, we did get Pink Tape last year, which had mixed reception, so
so maybe he's trying to make up for that maybe he wants to give fans something that they truly you know want again because some of them didn't care about pink tape and the sound he was pushing on there the more experimental sound that he was kind of going for on there and as i said we did have those hints to love is rage 3 with that he said was gonna be his last album he said that he was about to drop it he changed his caption to love is rage 3 and barter 16 which also was an album that was supposed to be coming it just never came because of leaks but it, it you know people were expecting that so nobody was really looking for eternal a take 2 before he actually announced this. So why is he doing this? I guess a big part of it is that Eternal It Take Two has this mysterious character around it. It really stands for an era that Uzi was kind of ruling from 2018 to 2020. Ever since his first studio album, Up To Eternal It Take, was probably the most successful of his career. And people always remember that with Eternal It Take. It also dropped right before COVID, so people also associated with that time. It was just a moment in time. Eternal to take one, even if it didn't live up to the expectations, as I said. But him doing EA2 now probably tries to capture some of that sound. And I mean, as I said, he announced two albums in the meantime after Pink Tape, which then never materialized. Maybe because he realized that those records could not generate the same amount of hype that an Eternal to take two could. And that's the reason he's now announcing this. I don't know if this was planned from the beginning to drop a sequel apparently he did have some sort of you know big production behind this if he can drop trailers like that and kind of have this whole lore and narrative behind it with the uzi the earthling the alien trailer so it looks like this was planned but it's still kind of surprising because we thought love is rage 3 was going to be his next record now we've gotten two songs in the meantime which were nfl and red moon now those will likely not be on the record i mean as i said we'll just have to wait a couple of hours until this album drops so it's not like you know we, we won't know in any amount of time also uzi hasn't said anything about this being his last record which he did say about love is rage 3 so we don't know if this is his last record it just replaces love is rage 3 or if Love is Rage 3 is coming afterwards. So that's still something that is up in the air. I'm guessing he will continue to make music after this. I, You know, it's just that he wanted to squeeze in EA2 because people have been wanting that and people have been hyping this up, you know, ever since it got announced a week ago. And he recognizes that this is the hype that he wanted maybe for the pink tape for Barter 16 for Love is Rage 3. And he wants to capitalize off of that. But, you know, we're looking at 19 tracks. Um, I've seen some people say 16, maybe three are deluxes. So we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. But, you know, we're looking at an Uzi release tomorrow with 19 new tracks, which is definitely something that I think fans could be very excited about. And I think the reason he's dropping this is because the EA title, it has mystery around it. It has hype around it. And he wants to live off of that a little bit again with this new release. That's not to say that the album won't be good. I'm just hoping it delivers on the name Eternal Take. So that's all we know about this and why I think he's dropping this. Let me know what y'all think about this though. Why do you think Uzi is dropping Eternal Take 2? And do you think it can really live up to the hype that people have with the name Eternal Take? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, you'll have an incredible day and you'll take care.